So here we are again at E3, well, E3 for the first time, and I'm with Pete Roski here. Good to see you, Wakeboard, sir. we're checking out Double Dragon Neon. I'm pretty excited about this. Pete, you're telling me that things are different this time around. Please explain. Yeah, uh, we've had a good long month or so to get this thing ready for E3, and uh, while we were pretty proud of the PAX build, this has come a long way. Uh, we've added uh, one of the special abilities you're going to be able to unlock. We've tightened up the fighting mechanics. The lighting has been polished. The, the animations have been polished. New music from the soundtrack. Just a ton of new features that you haven't seen yet. Now, when we played it at PAX, you had a couple of features that were sort of locked out. Do you think you could elaborate a little bit on it? I know there was a meter up there. Maybe some of our viewers aren't familiar with it. Sure, that was uh, part of our mixtape mechanic. Uh, it's basically a way to upgrade abilities that we're going to have you finding throughout the game. Uh, the the way it works is we have you finding songs throughout the game that you can add to a mixtape that we've provided that starts playing. Uh, there's a side A and a side B. Side A is uh, active, like, I guess action moves, so a fireball, the elbow, the classic elbow for Double Dragon 1. Uh, we give you some grenades, a whole lot of cool extra moves. You can assign one at a time, but change them on the fly. Side 2 is passive abilities, more like buffs, where we can upgrade things like health, uh, energy, speed, and even update the side A tracks. Uh, and you're going to be finding those and updating those with money in the store throughout the game. The tape smith, right? The tape smith. <laughs> It's amazing. So I'd like you to also elaborate on this isn't this isn't an HD remake. You know, this this is something that you guys have poured a ton of passion into. You said before it's a love letter to what Double Dragon was, but you are sprinkling it with a bit of exaggeration. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? A bit is a really nice way to put it. There's a lot of exaggeration. Uh, this is more, um, yeah, it's a love letter, like you said, to Double Dragon and the 80s. So we're really throwing in every element of that era and that game those games, rather, that we just love. Imagine you got the opportunity to take your favorite parts of the Double Dragon franchise and make your own game. That's exactly what Way Forward did here. Well, I'm definitely excited. We're going to try it out here in just a minute. So when do we expect this thing to drop? So we're still going with the summer vagueness, but it will definitely be out before the end of the summer this year. So you're going to be playing some Double Dragon with somebody, busting up some dudes very, very soon. Pete, thank you so much. Always a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure.